Hey there everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's start vision 2 one right now. Why did I have to sing that? I don't know. I probably pierced your ears. I really hope you weren't wearing headphones. And should I be going the left way first? That sounds like something that could be hidden. Hey, invisible wall! There should be no invisible walls there, that is crazy. But that tells me that there's nothing there, so I guess that's a good thing in general. And a couple gems. You can only grab those guys when they're open like that, if I'm not mistaken. I'll, I'll try and respawn that guy. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure of that, just so I wouldn't mislead anyone with my thoughts on the enemy. It's been a little while since I played the game. But all is well, because it turned out good, and... We're just moving along the treetop town here, and we've got some well, monkey-like enemies. Can't I grab you? Oh, I thought so. <laughs> I was a little worried that I wouldn't be able to grab that dude. Uh, tiny jumps, tiny jumps. Oh, I need your assistance. And there we go, it's the first villager. Moving on, checkpoints. Is that like honey on there, like a bee's hive honey? But oh, that was kind of mean of you. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like honey or tree sap or something like that. Uh, there's two paths I can go. I bet you I want to go down here. Yes! Trapped villager. And the tribes in each area are different, in case you didn't, couldn't tell by now by the villagers that popped out of those places. So, yeah. <laughs> now, I would like to take advantage of... Uh, because I believe I'm, I should be able to get gems from him in time. Yes, that is delightful. I think I could actually... Could I take a shortcut if I hopped up? No, I can't hop up through the background. Okay, I just wanted to, just wanted to try that for the fun of it. Okay, now there's two paths here. I believe this one is the one that leads to the dead end and another... Ow. <laughs> I am playing this horribly. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure I want to take this path first. Yes, definitely. No, 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 I want to get back up there. These tiny one-block jumps here, get used to them. There's going to be a lot of them later in the game, so I highly recommend that you get used to them now, because there's going to be ones underneath bottomless pits later, and they are probably going to devastate you. <laughs> uh, over here is just a little drop-off area. In case you fall off the edge, you can go all around like that. In there no secret no secret okay uh come on pop out so i can use you for a lift thing why did i throw you and not use the jump button i don't know this is clearly not my part i mean just look how much damage i already took anything up there no nah, just a monkey having fun and we come to this door and go back who me there's two of us actually Aga bugga. Ooga booga. I'm Klonoa from Wind Village. And my name is Yupu. Grandpa told us to go talk to the chiefess, and we're on our way to see her. You know, Klonoa should be a little more careful with that ring. <laughs> He's always tossing it around, he could lose that thing. He seems to be pretty quick to trust people, apparently. <laughs> yeah, that door, in case you didn't notice, had a key on it. Well, obviously. That's the rule of video games. Once you use a key, it is broke for good, typically. <laughs> and there's the key, there's the door, let's open the door. Whoa, it opens on its own. This is some automatic automatic doors in this area, that's kind of weird. Don't, doesn't it seem like it's, it's too much technology? Where, where'd that guy come from? What, what, where did you spawn from? I would like to re respawn you just to see, I mean, you know, kill you just to see where you respawn from. Where, yeah, where the heck did he come from? He was not there before, like, at all. That's why I went forward to get another enemy and, ah, whatever. Don't question the game logic. Otherwise, the universe may implode. We went through this before. We've seen it happen before. There's some eggs. I believe I want the one in the middle, but... Oh, no. I wanted the moving one, apparently. But what is in the one in the middle? I'm sure I want whatever's inside there as well. Yeah, it's a heart. Okay. <laughs> that is kind of helpful, I suppose. 
really nice camera angles in this one. It's really artistic how they have that, how they have some of this stuff, like how it has you loop around the world. Uh, another key, definitely need that. If there's a key, you must collect it. Another rule of video games: there's always just enough keys for what you need. And another door. Either it's mechanical or it's magical. Either way, it's getting kind of frightening. <laughs> oh, I didn't pay attention to the monkey. I thought he was just there in the background. Well, he was, but he's jumping into the foreground. Wait, wait, wait. I need something. Perhaps that monkey or perhaps the shield guy. Because I had, I see an egg. And if I see an egg, I must crack it. So, it was definitely worth cracking it. Good. And you? I will take you with me. I guess my better judgment of... Being able to do a floaty jump, <laughs> I guess I didn't need him, because there's another guy. I always like to have a guy with me because of the fact that, uh, it, you know, you might always, I mean, you might need something to throw at something else. I'm gonna have to go underneath the mushroom, aren't I? Yeah, it's in my way. Uh, that's, that's not really much of a detour, I guess, but it's, it's a detour nonetheless. Wait, I gotta hide from the spike ball guys, even though they're not really all that threatening, I guess. <laughs> Uh, not worth getting that blue gem because I'll be stuck in that little corner and trying to jump in and out before that uh, weird guy comes back down. Double time gem power! This game is another one of those kinds of games that gives you lots and lots of lives and because the game is generally pretty easy it doesn't really make much sense anyway. <laughs> anyway, cutscene time now! Who is this guy with the fish tail, it's like a toy soldier that's stubby, I have no idea. <laughs> Fairy tree? I see. We haven't been to Jugpot yet, oh, but we will! So bad you can't talk about it. <laughs> Hupo there has got the right idea. <laughs> He's the worst liar ever! And he's another blabbermouth. Seems like a lot of these games' characters have loose lips. And that is the end of Vision 2-1. Yeah, sure, I'll just... I'll just yeah, I'll it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part! This one was sort of, kind of short, but eh, well, as I said, I want to do one level per video for the sake of organization, just like Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz, so that's what I intend on doing. Da -da!